Hello and welcome. Today, I want to talk about all the different career paths for software engineers. I gained this knowledge through my own experience in the tech industry and by talking to different senior engineers working at Silicon Valley. I believe this video could be valuable for beginner software engineers who still want the experience and aren't sure what exactly they want to do with their career. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Front End Engineer a front engineer works on the user interface of a web application. He is responsible for making the website look and feel good to the user. If you have a sense of creativity and an analytical mind, this career path is for you. Front end engineer is becoming more and more popular as websites becoming more powerful. According to Zipier, the front end developer job market is expected to grow by 13% from 2018 to 2028 and there are currently about 124,000 job openings in the US. Being a front engineer requires less barrier to get into, so this career path is suitable for people in a non-tech background. That's why you see a lot of bootcamps that teach front end technologies, because most bootcamp graduates will become front end engineers. If you want to get started with front end development, I highly suggest you learn JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. These three technologies will set you the foundations and you can use them to build several projects on your portfolio. Number 2. Backend Engineer This is the most standard career path for software engineers. A backend engineer is responsible for the server side of a software application. Unlike the front end developer who work on the client side functionality, the backend engineer work on the behind the scene aspect of an application. They design, implement, and manage the server logic, databases, and application infrastructure, ensuring seamless communication between the front-end and the server. Their expertise is crucial in creating robust and scalable applications that can handle complex operations efficiently. If you follow a standard computer science program just like me, and you have experience in Java and C++, then you are eligible to become a backend engineer. Also, I highly suggest you learn SQL. From my own experience, most backend work involves database systems. You need to get good at SQL because there's not much training on the job and most of the time, you have to figure things out on your own. And we have a mixture of both, full stack engineer. Full stack engineer is growing in popularity over the next decade and it is one of the most sought after positions in the tech job market. A full stack engineer works on both the front end and the back end of the website. So if you want to experience the full cycle of web development, you should consider this role. Number 4. Machine Learning Engineer This is a career path I'm trying to get into, but we will see. A machine learning engineer is a person focusing on researching, building, and designing an AI system to automate predictive models. Machine learning is becoming more and more popular today. If you are not living under the rock, you probably have heard of ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an excellent application of machine learning. It is a model developed by OpenAI, and it is trained on a diverse range of data to be able to generate human-like text. However, unlike other software engineer roles, you need to have a PhD in math to become a machine learning engineer. Just kidding. You only need some foundations in math, especially statistics, calculus, and linear algebra. I believe machine learning engineer is a great career path in the next 10 years as AI is making a lot of progress. If you want to get into this field, I highly suggest you learn Python. This is the best language to get started with machine learning. There are many great libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, PyTorch, and TensorFlow. You can use these libraries to be amazing machine learning projects. I make another video about how to learn Python fast. I'm very proud of that video. I put a link in the description, so feel free to check it out. Number 5. Data Scientists Tech companies are collecting tons of data every single day, and they need someone who can process the data and put it into usage. That's when data scientists come in. Data scientists is becoming one of the most popular career paths for programmers. A data scientist is responsible for collecting large amount of data using analytical, statistical, and programmable skills. It is their responsibility to use data to develop solutions for the organization. This position, however, requires more analytical skills than coding skills. 
you don't write a lot of code like normal software engineers, but you spend a lot of time analyzing the output of your code. If you like analyzing information and reading charts, then being a data scientist is a perfect career path for you. Number six, game developer. Be honest, most of us learn coding because we love building and playing video games. Game development is the ultimate form of virtual interaction. Game developers do a lot of things, from writing the code of how the game works to creating amazing graphics and sounds. They also work with creative people like artists and designers to create a game that people love to play. With the game industry growing a lot, being a game developer is an exciting career path if you want to make fun games that other people enjoy. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That supports the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.